Thankfully, we've now been able to see our friends and family in our gardens. But the British weather does play its part and can spoil that enjoyment, particularly the temperatures in the evening. So this weekend, gather round your chimney, keep warm and do a ritual fire dance. These days we seem to spend half our time on our laptops on Zoom and the other half on our smartphones. For those of you who can remember a typewriter, that's the title of our next piece. For those of you probably under the age of 30, you may have to go onto Google to find out what it is.
Our flute quintet includes both an alto and a bass flute, so do have a listen and a look out for those two. They're going to perform for you now the beautiful melody from Delibes' Lacme, The Flower Duet.
not have heard of Jim Parker, but you might have heard of some of his music, Midsummer Murder, Foils War and Ground Force from those who can remember from a few years ago. We're going to perform the third movement of his clarinet concerto called A la Creole. Please welcome tonight's soloist and extremely talented Eden Lloyd.
The finale of the Pines of Rome recalls the glorious days of the Roman Empire. Just imagine palm trees, a misty morning, and a huge Roman army leading up to the gates of Rome. And when they get there, the thundering sound of their feet as they arrive.
whether you call it Colnidri, 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 that seems to have caused quite a lot of debate amongst the youth orchestra. What hasn't caused debate is the amazing talents of tonight's cello soloist, Theo Cini.
for those of you that's ever tried it, trying to read the music and find the right notes on the xylophone is difficult. It's made worse if there's lots of fast notes, therefore meaning you have to start memorising the patterns. Tonight is Aaron Jones's last concert with Herefordshire Youth Concert Band. So we thought what better way than to challenge him with a really fast xylophone solo for his last concert. Sit back, hold tight, here is Bill Lemons, Helter Skelter. Tonight's finale is the Jollyful Carnival Samba by Gunter Norris. If you want cheese, this piece is the cheesiest of them all. Now I know there's a few purists amongst you so I apologise that it's a samba piece and I'm wearing my best Hawaiian shirt and Mexican hat but it's the only outfits that I have that are along those lines. Please forgive me, I don't have a wardrobe full of everything. So. If a ritual fire dance isn't your cup of tea around the chimney, then let's finish with a samba in the garden. <laughs>
I must in tonight's concert say a few thank yous. With my conductor hat on, I'd like to say a big thank you to Barbara Kinnaird, to Becky Griffiths, to Lisa Linus, to Andy Licorice, and to Josh Lambdin for their help tutoring and the online tutoring that they've been doing in sectionals for some of them for the youth orchestra and the youth concert band. It makes my job in so much easier, but also it makes the opportunities and the experiences and the learning process for our young people so much better. So a big thank you for their work with both of those ensembles. I'd also like to take this opportunity with my Encore Managing Director hat on to say a big thank you to Andy and Lisa for their work putting together the whole of Encore Youth Music this year. It goes without saying that it's been an incredibly difficult year. So many changes, so many unknowns, trying to make uh, an offer for our young people, some experiences for our young people, to keep them going through the working at home and through the pandemic and to keep our ensembles going. And I think they've done a tremendous job. And I take my hat off to both of them. And I have to finish by saying, I can't imagine how much effort it has taken for Andy to go through all of the editing for every single performance of every single ensemble for every single concert throughout the year. Thank you to them both and to everyone who's helped with EYM this year.